imagine we have a container that occupied by nitrogen gas with pressure of 0.5 atm now what will happen to the pressure in the container if we add helium gas with pressure of 0.5 atm will it change or remain 0.5 atm Assalamualaikum, hi everyone. Welcome back to Siri Pensyarah Kimia Awak. Today we are going to discuss about the Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure. So what is stated by Dalton's Law of Partial Pressure? The total pressure of a mixture of non-reacting gases is the sum of partial pressure exerted by each gas in the mixture at constant volume and temperature. To help you understand better, imagine this. We have a room occupied with a group of teenagers who are having a party. The room must be quite noisy, is it? What happens if we add another group of teenagers to join their party? So, must be like this again. Let us apply what do we understand with the party situation with the Dalton's partial pressure. The pressure exerted by each gas in the mixture can be represented by the level of noisy from each group. Okay, let us solve our initial problem. So in this container, we have nitrogen gas, N2, with pressure of 0.5 atm. Then, we add helium gas, with pressure of 0.5 atm. So what happened to the pressure of the container? Will it remain? Or will it change? So, how do we solve this? We try to apply the Dalton's law of partial pressure. So, in Dalton's law of partial pressure, the total pressure is equivalent to the pressure of nitrogen gas plus the pressure of helium gas. So, the total pressure here is equivalent to 0.5 atm plus 0.5 atm equal to 1 atm. So, P total is 1 atm. Okay. Tadi kita gunakan analogi untuk situasi yang berlaku dalam kehidupan harian kita. Sekarang kita akan apply dalam masalah kimia yang sebenar. Okay, now we have a question here. A 2.5 decimeter cube flask contains 0.5 mole of nitrogen gas and 0.25 mole of oxygen gas at 25 degree Celsius. Calculate the partial pressure of each gas and the total pressure in the flask. Okay, first, we need to list out all the informations given. First, we have 0.1 mole of nitrogen gas. So you need to label it. Number mole of nitrogen gas, we have 0.1 mole. Next, we have mole of oxygen, which is 0.25 mole. So the temperature given is 25 degrees Celsius but we need to convert it into Kelvin. So, how do we convert the temperature from degree Celsius to Kelvin? By using this. 0 degree Celsius is equivalent to 273.15 Kelvin. So, our temperature is 25 degree Celsius. You just need to add with 273.15 Kelvin. So, that is, that is equivalent to 298.15 Kelvin. Okay? So next, we are going to use the ideal gas equation. PV equals to nRT. P refer to pressure and the unit must be in ATM. We refer to volume occupied by the gas itself or the volume of the container. And the unit must be in liter or decimeter cube. And refer to the number of mole of gas. R refer to the gas constant and the value of R is 0.08206 and the unit will be liter ATM per mole per Kelvin. That's why our pressure and our volume must be in ATM and liter and our temperature must be in Kelvin. Okay. Next, we need to replace the information given into this formula. So first, the question asks you to calculate the partial pressure of each gas. So which means 
we need to find the value of t for each gas so i will do this for nitrogen first so this is the formula so we are going to find the pressure of nitrogen so p and 2 and then this is the volume occupied by nitrogen gas which is the volume of the flask itself and here this is the volume of the flask 2.5 okay so here is the volume of the flask and then here the number of mole for the gas itself so since i'm going to determine the pressure for nitrogen so here must be the number mole for nitrogen gas which is 0.1 okay and then r this is the gas constant applied to all the gases and then the temperature this is the temperature for the flask which is 25 degrees celsius so here what happened pn2 equal to n this is the number mole for nitrogen gas which is 0.1 mole and then the gas constant r is this one 0.08206 and then the temperature is 298.15 kelvin divided by the volume of the flask itself which is 2.5 and you will obtain the final answer or the pressure of the nitrogen gas which is 0.9786 atm so this is the partial pressure for nitrogen gas okay so next we are going to determine the partial pressure for oxygen gas so given here the mole for oxygen gas is 0.25 mole so we just put it here and then we have 0.08206 this one represent the gas constant which is r and then we have the temperature 298.15 kelvin and then the volume of the flask is 2.5 so you put all this into your calculator you will obtain the final answer which is 2.447 atm this is the partial pressure for oxygen gas so now since we have the partial pressure for each gases we are going to apply the dalton's law of partial pressure to determine the total pressure in the flask so based on the dalton's law of partial pressure the p total is equal to the sum of the pressure of each gas in the flask so in this flask we have two gas which which are oxygen and nitrogen gas so oxygen gas the partial pressure for oxygen gas is 2.447 atm and then the partial pressure for nitrogen gas is 0.9786 atm so the p total will be 3.4 4 to 5 6 atm so that is the total pressure in the plus okay let us move to the next question so a 600 ml of oxygen gas is collected over water from the decomp decomposition of kclo3 given the atmospheric pressure is 1 atm and temperature is 25 degrees celsius how many grams of oxygen has been collected so before we discuss deeper about this question we need to understand first what is the water displacement method this is the example of the water displacement method this is the setup of the experiment okay we have the kclo3 here which will be heated and then what happened kclo3 will produce kcl and oxygen gas so the gas itself the oxygen gas will be transferred into this flask by using the water displacement method okay next we need to list out all the informations given here we have the volume of o2 gas which is 600 ml you have to change it into liter this one will be equal to 0.6 liter and then next the pr uh, pressure total in this case the p total is equivalent to the atmospheric pressure which is 1 atm and 
our temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, which is 298.15 Kelvin. Okay, so since the question asks you to determine how many grams of oxygen has been collected, so here we need to use the ideal gas equation PO2 VO2 equal to NO2 RT. Okay, so here we have no clue about the pressure for oxygen. So how to determine that? Okay, the special thing about the water displacement method, the P total here is actually equal to the P atmospheric pressure. So P total equal to P atmospheric pressure. And the P total here is actually equivalent to the partial pressure of O2 plus partial pressure of water vapor. Okay, kenapa P total equivalent to PO2 plus P water vapor? Daripada mana datangnya water vapor? Okay, apa yang berlaku di awal-awal eksperimen, bekas di sini sebenarnya dipenuhi dengan water molecule. So, bila kita mulakan dengan eksperimen dengan membakar KCL dengan memanaskan KClO3, apa yang berlaku adalah oksigen gas akan dihasilkan dan oksigen gas itu akan dialirkan ke bekas ini. So, what happen? The oxygen molecule will displace the water molecule itself. So, that's why P total is equal to PO2 plus PH2. Why H2? Because there are still H2O molecules that remain in this plus in the form of water vapor. So our P total is 1 atm. PO2 we need to find it. And then PH2O is given here actually. So at 25 degrees Celsius the vapor pressure of water is 23.8 tor. Okay. This information will be given by the question. Okay. So you need to convert the pressure into ATM. So this is how we convert the pressure from tor to ATM. So 1 ATM is equivalent to 760 tor. So here we have 23.8 tor. So which means 0.031 ATM. So this is the pressure for water vapor in ATM. So we put this value here. So the partial pressure for oxygen will be 4.969 ATM. Okay, now we have the partial pressure for oxygen which is 0.0. 969 ATM Okay, we go back to our ideal gas equation Okay, now we have the pressure of oxygen gas We have the volume of oxygen gas We are going to look for number mole for oxygen gas And we have the value for gas constant And we also have the temperature So here, you need to modify the formula Make it NO2 become the subject Okay, and then you substitute the value into this formula. So our partial pressure for oxygen is 0.969. This is the volume, this is the gas constant, and this is the temperature. Okay, use your calculator. So the number of mole for oxygen gas will be 0.024 mole. Okay, now we have the number mole for oxygen gas. Okay, the number mole here is 0.024 mole. And then the formula for mole itself is equivalent to mass in grams divided by molar mass in gram per mole. So the question asks you to determine how many grams of oxygen has been collected. So here, you just need to modify the formula. You make mass as the main subject. So this one will be the mole times by molar mass. Okay. So the mole for oxygen gas is 
0.024 mol and the molar mass for oxygen will be 32 gram per mol so the mass obtained for oxygen will be 0 0.768 grams okay so that is our final answer in this video we have learned about Dalton's law of partial pressure and how to apply it if we look back at the analogy the room represents the container the teenagers represent the gas whereas the level of noise represent the pressure so when number of teenagers increase the level of noise will increase similarly the total pressure of gas increase when the partial pressure of gases increase we also learn about the water displacement method hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe and share the video bye